Hi, everyone. It's Kelsey Lee here. Thank you for joining us. We are here to discuss the framework for the Art of Leading People-Centered Teams, our seven-week course and online community. Our next cohort kicks off in less than two weeks. Yay. And that'll be Tuesday, February 2nd. Um, so I'm taking a moment because I've had a lot of questions around what does the curriculum include? What can I expect? What topics will be covered? And this framework kind of dives into the whole mindset and approach and philosophy that we use in the program. So I hope you find this helpful. Of course, I'd love to chat with you more. Ready to dive in and commit? love it, you can go to my website, kelseylee.com and register. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to switch over my camera here and we're going to dive into the framework. Here we have our lovely Venn diagram, um, souped up Venn diagram. All righty. So the framework, why did I create this program? Because I genuinely want nothing else than for you to become a confident people-centered leader we're putting you at the center of this program. Now, a people-centered leader is actively aligning it. Let me explain more. You are confident in your values, your team's careers goals, and your organization's strategic goals. A people-centered leader is actively sculpting it. Don't you love the word sculpting aligned with the art of me? Two, you are actively taking initiative to build systems as you develop routines and processes that increase transparency. A people-centered leader is actively measuring it. You proactively collect data along the way and carve out time to reflect and hold your team accountable. In order to become a confident people-centered leader, your team needs three things. They need trust. Your team wants you to trust their work so they don't feel like they're being micromanaged and they want to feel trusted to speak up when something isn't working. In order to become a confident people-centered leader, your team needs communication. Of course. But what does that look like in practice? Your team wants to be able to openly communicate with you and with each other. As we work more and more remote, we know clearer and more proactive communication is imperative. In order to become a confident people-centered leader, your team needs collaboration. Your team wants to do the hard work of executing projects, of course but they also want to be part of the innovation of future ideas, which will increase their buy-in for everything else they're working on. All right, so now we know what you need and what to do, but what happens if you don't do it? What happens if you stay status quo? What happens if you don't invest in your leadership practice? Well, if you don't have trust, your team will stay detached. They will have less autonomy, less ownership. They will likely leave the company more easily. If you don't prioritize communication, your team will stay unfocused. They'll spend a lot of their time trying to figure out what they're supposed to do. They will be less productive. If you don't prioritize collaboration, your team is going to stay uninspired. That's the saddest one to me. <laughs> and your team will likely burn out. So let's break this down so we know how to stay away from these three things, being detached, unfocused, and uninspired. We have to add some things to our chart here. All right. First, to build trust with your team, you need to live the values. You must practice what you preach. If you say you're going to take a vacation and unplug, that means you actually need to and unplug. You know what this means. 
Second, to build trust with your team, you need to coach the individual. Each member on your team needs and wants something different. Trust comes when you invest in what's best for them. Trust with your team comes from motivating the team. You actively focus on group goals. You acknowledge and celebrate big wins. All right, let's look at communication. Communication is a big one. In order to have strong communication with your team, you need to di um, prioritize, excuse me, diverse perspectives. And then uh, I'm running out of room, so let's shorten things here. You need to check your biases. You need to invite different perspectives to the room. You need to hire for different strengths. In order to have strong communication with your team, you need to honor the process. You not only help build, but you also stick to the quarterly plan, workflows, and working agreements. In order to have strong communication with your team, you need to model all back. You have to have the hard conversations. You need to admit mistakes. You need to be human. All right, let's move on to our last category, collaboration. In order to develop an environment of collaboration with your team, you need three things, of course. The first one, you have to share responsibility. You share goals, it seems silly, but often doesn't happen. You align with the strategic plan. You can backfill when someone is out. You can ask others to help you present to executives. In order to develop a, an environment of collaboration with your team, you need to encourage innovation. I know it takes time, however, It's worth it. <laughs> you need to carve out the time to brainstorm and thoughtfully design new initiatives instead of doing it all on your own. In order to develop an environment of collaboration with your team, last but not least, you need to reflect and revise. You collect data and make time for a reflection. This is it. It's a ton. But this course dives into each pillar and shows you the systems that you can implement to make this come to life. So there's a lot to be an infinite people-centered leader and building a people-centered team. But if this content interests you and you're ready to increase your impact at work, I know this course is going to be a good fit. Please join us cohort of the Art of Leading People Center teams. As I said, we start to start second. We meet every Tuesday from 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern. We also have guest speakers, incredible guest speakers, if I must say, um, small groups, and I'm available for individual coaching to ensure that this content is being transferred and applied to your workspace. Whether you manage four people, four full-time people, 70 part-time part or you're actually a freelancer or a small business is applying this concepts, these concepts to your clients. We had all of those scenarios present in our last cohort, and we found that 96% of our participants increased their confidence in implementing these systems and um, ensuring that their teams had trust, communication, and collaboration. So I really look forward to talking with you more. If you want to set up a call, just reach out, send me a direct message or an email. My email is kelsey at kelseylee.com. Or if you're ready and you're in, I love it. Head over to kelseylee.com and go ahead and register. I look forward to seeing you soon.